Here's another example where we are given two similar triangles and we're asked to find some missing side lengths. In this case, we are not given a ratio of similarity, so we have to find one from within the situation. The shortest side in each of these two triangles is the upright. In the smaller, it is 6 units long, and in the lower one, it is 10 units long. So therefore, I can make 6 over 10 my ratio of similarity for these two triangles. I will use that in both of my proportions. To find x, x is part of the larger triangle, so the x has to go on the bottom with the 10. The side that is similar to side x in the smaller triangle is this base, which is 8 units long. So the 8 goes here. Cross multiplying, I get 6x equals 10 times 8 which means 6x equals 80. x is therefore equal to 80 divided by 6, which is 40 thirds, or 13.3 repeating. There are no units given in the situation, so I can use the word units as my unit. To find side y, it is part of the smaller triangle, so therefore it will go on the top of the proportion with the 6. The side that is similar to y in the bigger triangle is this hypotenuse, which is 50 thirds units in length. So I write 50 thirds here. Cross multiplying, I get 10y is equal to 6 times 50 thirds, which is 300 thirds, which is 100. We have 10y is equal to 100. Dividing both sides by 10, y is isolated and is equal to 100 divided by 10, which is 10. And again, there are no units given, so I use the word units as my unit. This is how we find missing side lengths in two similar triangles when we are not given a ratio of similarity.